Let's solve the, the system that appears on screen. Solving a system is calculating the values of the x and the y so that they fulfill the equations. In this case we have two equations. We want to calculate the x and the y values that will satisfy simultaneously these two equations. And for that we are going to use in this case the reduction method. The reduction method consists in multiplying the first equation by the coefficient of the x from the second one and multiplying the second equation by the coefficient of the x from the first one, but changing the sign. On top, we now have the normal coefficient, and underneath we have the coefficient with negative sign. We could have also done it with the coefficients of the y's, so if we do it the way we are, we should get minus 7 times 3x minus 5y equals 1, from which minus 7 times 3x is minus 21x, now minus 7 times minus 5y is 35y equals to minus 7 times 1, which is minus 7, and the second one, minus 3 times minus 7x, which gives us 21x, minus 3 times 4y, which gives us minus 12y equals minus 3 times minus 10, which gives us 30. Now we add these two equations, minus, one, minus 21x plus 21x goes. This occurs because we have looked for the adequate numbers, which would cancel the term of the equation. Now 35y plus minus 12y, which gives us 23y, 23y equals minus 7 plus 30, which equals 23. So now we isolate the y. y would be 23, and this 23, which is multiplying, would go to the other side, dividing 23 by 23, which equals 1. So now we have y. Once we have the value of y, we calculate x from the first or from the second equation. The one we prefer, because the value is going to be the same if we do it uh, with the first equation as if we do it with the second equation. For example, example we do it with the second. We would have from the second, minus 7 times x, which is the value we want to calculate, plus 4 times y, which gives us 1, equals minus 1. From here, minus 7x plus 4 times 1 is plus 4 equals minus 10, minus 7x, which would be equal to minus 10, and now this 4, which is with positive sign, goes to the other, sign with, to the other side with negative sign, from which minus 7x, um, sorry, this should be a 4, not a 2. This 4, which is being added, goes to the other side subtracting. Now we have minus 7x equals minus 14. From which, x should be equal to 14, which is there, and this minus 7, which is being multiplied, goes to the other side dividing. And this would leave you minus 4 divided by 7 equals 2. Therefore, the values which satisfy both equations simultaneously are x equals 2 and the value y equals 1. We observe that we have one solution to this system. This means this is a, com a compatible system of determined equations because there is only one pair of answers. One value for the x and one value for the y in a form that satisfies both equations.